The man suspected of gunning down nearly two dozen people behind me is believed to have written an online rant, worried about a, quote, Hispanic invasion. And that detail alone makes this nest clip all the more outrageous. Watch what Fox TV host and Trump whisperer Tucker Carlson says about the problem of white supremacy in America. The whole thing is a lie. If you were to assemble a list, a hierarchy of concerns or problems this country faces, where would white supremacy be on the list? Right up there with Russia, probably. It's actually not a real problem in America. The combined membership of every white supremacist organization in this country would be able to fit inside a college football stadium? White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. Just like the Russia hoax, it's a conspiracy theory used to divide the country and keep a hold on power. That's exactly what's going on. Joining me now is CNN's resident fact checker, Daniel Dale. Daniel, there is a lot wrong with what Tucker Carlson just said. A litany of things, offensive for one thing, but beyond that, it's just not true. It's a lie. You've dug through this. What have you found? It's utter nonsense. White supremacist violence has been a problem in the United States since the founding of the United States, and it's certainly a problem today. Now, you think this would be obvious in the wake of the massacre of 22 people in El Paso, but since it apparently isn't, let's look at uh, what some experts say and what law enforcement authorities say. Here's a clip from FBI Director Christopher Wray just a couple of weeks ago testifying to Congress. Through the uh, third quarter of this fiscal year, uh, had about, give or take, 100 arrests in the international terrorism side. But we've also had just about the same number, again, don't quote me to the exact digit, uh, on the domestic terrorism side. A uh, majority of the um, domestic terrorism uh, cases that we've investigated uh, are motivated by some version of what you might call white supremacist violence. So Director Ray isn't saying that white supremacist violence is the only extremism problem, but it certainly is an extremism problem. And I'll give you some other data. According to the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at Cal State San Bernardino, 17 of 22 extremist homicides last year were committed by white supremacists. According to the Anti-Defamation League, it was 18 of 34 homicides by domestic extremists in 2017. According to the Government Accountability Office, 73% of all domestic extremist homicides between 9-11 and uh, the end of 2016 were committed by far-right people. Now, not all of those far-right people were white supremacists, but many of them were. I just printed out a brief list. White supremacist teens murdered an Ecuadorian immigrant. White supremacists killed two immigrants. Neo-Nazi murdered Wesleyan University Jewish student. White supremacists murdered two immigrants in home invasion. There are dozens of these. And so the claim that white supremacy is not a problem at all, I mean, you could argue maybe there are bigger problems, but to say this is a hoax is just utter abject nonsense. It's a lie, and it dishonors the victims who were killed behind me and their families. And remember, Daniel, there's a company paying him to say that, advertisers paying to allow him to say that, guests who go on to be with him to hear him say that. I want to play something for you. And we have heard from Latinos all over the country, mm -hmm. here in El Paso as well, who feel like they're being hunted down and under attack, that this attack here in the name of white supremacy targeted them specifically. And we know it because we read it. I want you to listen. So what Tucker Carlson said last night on Fox News, and I want to have you help me understand it if it's at all possible. Sure. Listen to what he said about white supremacy. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax, just like the Russia hoax. It's a conspiracy theory used to divide the country and keep a hold on power. That's exactly what's going on. White supremacy is a hoax, he says. And I say this to you as someone uh, who serves in this community with the 22 people who were killed behind us because the killer told us of what they look like in the language they speak. How on earth can you call that a hoax? You know, I'm Hispanic, okay? I speak Spanish. My mother, my grandmother was from Mexico, from Zacatecas. I am Hispanic and I claim it and I'm very proud of it, okay? White supremacy, Somebody asked me yesterday if I agree 100% with the president. I said, I don't agree 100% with anybody, okay? I like Tucker Carlson. White supremacy is not a hoax. But that doesn't mean it's a national, very large or a 
group. There are pockets of radicals mm -hmm. from any type of focus that you want to look at all over this country, all over this world. That doesn't mean that it's something that's going to take over, that's going to dominate. But without a doubt, you've got people that are anti-black, people that are anti-white, people that are mm -hmm. anti-Hispanic. And, and, and you, if you want to be a radical someplace, you're going to find a group that will support what you believe. But I know you, you know believe. diminishing the threat of white supremacy, as Carlson was doing there, doesn't help the people in your community here. I know you know that. And the people who are killed here behind us is not language you would use. This community is 80 percent Hispanic, 80 percent plus. OK, we're 82, 83 percent Hispanic. And we get along. And I mean everybody. I'm, I'm a minority. This is a, a Democratic county. I'm a Republican representative in a Democratic county in a Republican state, okay? But in spite of that, we don't have, we have differences of opinion, strong differences of opinion, but, but we don't have anger and frustration and fighting over uh, our differences of opinion. And so we acknowledge that there are issues here, there are problems here. Uh, you know, we could touch a number of issues that are we're sensitive about because you can see the lights behind us. That's the Mexico. And that's Mexico. That's how close we are to Mexico. And so we deal with, with immigration issues, with border patrol issues, human trafficking, child trafficking. We deal with those things all the time. And I think in this community, we've been able to control that. But we're, we're the front line for the rest of the United States because what goes on in the rest of the United States is impacted by what occurs in El Paso. I do want to say, Adolfo Tellis, thank you again for having us here in this city. It's been an honor to be here. Thank welcome. you for the work you do. Nice to see you. You're Thanks welcome. Thanks for coming in. Take care.